mode versus dark mode. While this debate continues to take over the internet, you don't have to worry because inside your framer project, you can actually design for both. And in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. For example, we have this dark mode website and this looks great, but let's say if we wanted to change it to a light mode, we can do this very easily as well. Let's go. Okay, so here I am inside a framer and you'll notice I've got this basic example set up here. And if I click on the light UI button at the bottom here to change the theme, you'll notice that my page design will change as well. And all the colors are essentially being inverted. Now, this is really simple to do. So we'll do this on another demo project that we've got set up here, which basically is just a real basic hero section of a website. There's not really too much to it here, uh, but we've kind of got the text as light and the background as dark. But what we want to do is make it so if someone is using a light theme on their computer, by default, we would have some sort of light effect. Now we do this using color styles inside of Framer. So for example here, you notice I've got this sort of like cream color and then we've also got like a dark gray sort of color here as well. So what we can do is actually set this up as a color style. So if I click on my fill and then click on styles down here and let's call this our dark gray. Now, before I press create here, you'll notice we've got these two tabs. We've got a light icon and we also have a dark icon for daytime and nighttime. And this is essentially how we can create our light versus dark mode colors. So we can make it, we have a specific color style for light and in that same color style, we can have something completely different for dark. So let's just set this up as the dark one and then let's create that. And let's also go ahead and edit this and we'll make it completely different for light. So let's call this dark gray and let's set it as our dark color just for now, right? And now we have this style here, which is dark gray, which we could use anywhere. But if I edit this, we can create a light style as well. So let's set this to be our cream, right? And let's go back on that. So now we have our light color and then we also want our dark color here as well. So now we've got our dark color and we've got our light color. So let's just leave it like that. Okay, great. And we also want to do the same for our lighter color. So let's go here and let's call it light gray. Let's set this as the dark color first. Actually, no, we want to set this as a light color. Cool. And then we want to edit that and also do our dark color just like so. Cool, but let's actually set that to be light. Don't know why this isn't working. Maybe that needs to be dark. Okay, cool. So after a little bit of playing around, I was able to just make it work. Uh, you might have to tinker with it a little bit, but you'll notice if I invert these colors, it's starting to work. So now let's just go ahead and select our color styles correctly. That's an icon, so we can't really do too much about that. And we've got our background set to dark gray. So you notice this looks really good. And then if I invert it, it becomes our light mode. So now if I publish this to the website and let's go onto Google, you notice everything appears in our dark gray sort of format. But if we go into our system preferences here, change our appearance to light, you will notice it will automatically update. So the key here is just to set up your color styles inside uh, here and just make sure you've got something set for your light mode and then also your dark mode as well. So just to clarify, it's going to automatically set your color style depending on what uh, theme you've got going. So if you've got light mode, it's gonna set it as a light mode and if you've got dark mode, it's gonna set it as a dark mode. So for example here, if I create a new color, let's say it's a light sort of pink and we'll call this light pink. I can create it just like so. Then if I set it to be a dark mode, I can go in, edit that style under my dark mode and it's gonna work just like so. So if I switch this 
You'll notice that color is changing depending on whether it's light or dark mode. And that's why there was a little bit of confusion. So if you enjoyed this video and you want more Framer content like this, well, you're in luck because we're putting out new Framer tutorials every single week for you beautiful people on the internet. And if you are ready to level up and master Framer, check out my Ultimate Framer Master Course, which is my 70 lesson course on mastering Framer from A to Z. Until next time, I'll catch you later.